And hello everyone! Well, today is the final day of the World Cup in Pesaro. The gymnast competed for medals of the finals of certain types, and I must say the day was nervous. And an emotional outburst was happening in chats and forums today. So we definitely have something to discuss today. Well, before starting the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will be pleased to like this video. Well, also don't forget that you can support me using the link in the description. Now let's get started. The final day of the World Cup stage and the final day of the series took place on Sunday, May the 30th. Those in fact it was the last tournament of this format this year. Then Continental Championship, the Olympics, World Championship, Challenges Cup and international tournaments await us. Well, let's start with the sweetest and sweetest thing that happened on the last day. Of course, the Beast Talisman. We cheered up not only the sport but also the viewers today. By the way, an interesting observation, this talisman is certainly very cool and very funny to watch with. But where did the fear of coronavirus go to? Spectators in Italy are not allowed to compete, but the mascot, which in fact exchanged microbes for all athletes, is not a problem. This came as a surprise to me, since mascots were banned at previous tournaments and even the European Championship in 2020 was held without it. And such big stars always seem to hire animators. It's strange moment, and I didn't understand this joke, but if you don't think about it, then of course, it was very funny. Well now about the sad or rather not pleasant news, as you remember I'm here for the second day going broke because I'm accused of something I don't even think about. So I am as emotional as possible, and today I decided to watch the broadcast with the commentators. And friends, I try to be as impartial as possible, and I periodically scold and praise all the gymnasts, but what I heard about the fact that Russian gymnasts are the best and the best, and only they have everything perfect, and the rest of them just don't hold a candle to my ears curled up into a tube from this untruth. Because now I understand why, they're they, why they have aggression against me. But because on TV they say that they are perfection and are praised with other epithets. Let's immediately designate Arena and Dina Virina as amazing gymnasts. I love them, respect them, I still worry about their health. I do not argue that they are unique gymnasts, but to say that the other gymnasts did not stand next to them? Well, in my opinion, this is not true at all. Perhaps in the last Olympic season it was so with Rita Mamun and Yana Kudrasova although there were also enough insanely cool gymnasts there. But now, due to the fact that the complexity of the subject prevails in the rules, and as it turned out in the world of rhythmic gymnastics, there is a huge number of apparatus who are on the side look no worse. There is Linoia Shrub and the amazing Bariana Kalin for different tastes, while a Russian gymnast Alina Garnesko and Nasya Salas who are not only surprising in the apparatus but also very attractive in body performances. The Italian gymnasts are amazing. Ukraine has a unique gymnastics school, and this is only if you take the most top. In general, I was really very upset that such things are said on Russian TV. In no case, I beg for their awareness merits, but other gymnasts are no worse, and these phrases, if honestly, sound wildly learned by heart, and as if they don't follow gymnastics in the world at all. But simply repeat what they will be praised for. Because when you praise your own, everyone is happy and no one swears. But why is everyone afraid to tell the truth and what they think, and not what people want to hear? I just know because others will lash out like jackals and insult, which will not seem like a little thing. In general, if you come to my channel for the fact that I would only praise Russia, then we are not on the way. I am for loving different gymnastics, and if someone does not talk about it, and if someone is delightful, then talk about it. Well, now let's go to the results, and along the way we will discuss a little more and the rules, since today there were quite a few questions about them. So in the final with the hoop, Dina Virina won gold, Linoi Schramm became silver medalist and Linoi's lead was only 500. And Irina Virina took only third place. In terms of performance, Averna's sisters were unsurprised in the hope today. But in terms of difficulty, Lina sc Lino scored more points today. And if there is not such an aggression in the hope, since Dina still won gold, then with the ball it just team. At least what what I have read in various discussions. Well, and a little more about the final with the hoop. Anastasia Salos became the fourth year, followed by Alina Garnasko, Laura Zenk, Nicole Zilikman, and Elena Klaiditi, close the eighth strongest gymnast. Well, in the final was the ball. Here, Lina Ashram won gold, but the most interesting thing is that it happened in an equal battle. The gymnast did not allow losses, and for a non professional look, no one had any mistakes, and naturally, immediately, the thought that the Russian gymnasts were condemned. 
Let's start from afar. The rules in rhythmic gymnastics are as subjective as possible. And a lot of things here are really evaluated for taste. And I think we all already know that everyone has a different taste. Someone loves Arina, someone loves Tina, and someone cats. In general, this should not be forgotten when there are competitions in rhythmic gymnastics. Also in gymnastics, there is a huge number of deductions, two of, an extra step, a bent on knee, is not where it's needed. You look at the apparatus for a long time, wait for a long time, did not stand in a ballast for a long time, did not do basic work on the element, and there are a lot of such trifles. Recently, by the way, a video was released on the channel where my coach and I talked about the top 10 mistakes in gymnastics. In addition, to losses. I'm sure this video will help you better understand all of this. But as I once not said, we are not judges and we cannot change anything. We cannot increase points for our beloved gymnasts and put everyone on a podium at once. So the phrases in this format were condemned, or she did better, and that is worse as meaningless as possible. You and I, we can work with what we have and discuss likes and dislikes and disagree or agree, but certainly not to call the judges names. Returning to our rams, immediately mark this expression and I do not call anyone a ram, but if you really want to call me a lamp, they're cute. Okay, put aside jokes. So Linares Ram scored a high score in the ball on D, or as we call it difficulties, and if you watch her performance, then it's done in one breath. Each element flows from one another. Everything happens quickly and as cleanly as possible. And personally, I have no doubts that her estimate were deliberately overstated. I like the judges and put a lot. But then what happened to Dina? I do not presume to relate the marks. This is a thankless and not correct business, but at least visually. First, at the very beginning, Dina had a so in, this alone as for me is a rather seriously penalty, which she actually lost. Initially, by the way, Dina's score was three times slower, and there was a very curious reaction to the broadcast. Again, rather ambiguous. For the first time, I don't know how much Russia has filled the protest. In general, I don't remember that Russia enlarged in protest. Once Irina Wiener said about them that we should be three heads higher than the rest, so that no one would have any doubt, and protest would not have to be filled. Well, the protest was accepted, and the mark was raised but the truth is still not enough. And for those who don't know, the protests are reviewed by video and evaluated in more detail. Well, here, of course, it immediately began that Dina was huge. But Linoy did not deserve it. I disagree with this opinion. Dina did not go through the program badly without breakdowns. And I really like the exercise with the ball, which I have also said many times. This is probably my favorite exercise with Dina this season. But apparently, something still took off. Or she did not. Something still took off since in the all-around difficulties she had much more than Linoy. In general, this all means that knowing which rules are not perfect in gymnastics, I think not about who performs harder, but who is easier, but how you can distract the judges so that they can count you as much as possible. And apparently Linoy has this. It turned out better today. Well, it was also not a pleasant moment with Arina. Arina also scored not so high for the exercise with the ball and became a bronze medalist. However, the most offensive in this whole situation was the fact that a protest was filled against Tina's assessment. But they did not even start about Arina, although initially Arina's rating was higher, which means that there are more chances to catch up with Linoy. In general, it was also a strange and not very pleasant moment for Arina's fans. But I think they weren't upset by a small spoiler. She won all the other finals. Well, in the ball, Anastasia Salas was in fourth place, followed by Nicole Zilikman, Alina Gardnoisko, Laura Zeng, and Chisaki Aiva. Well, as I already said, Arina Verina won gold in the final with clubs. Linoa Schramm won silver. I think such results on the contrary only fuel interest in the struggle between gymnasts. I even thought that maybe this was all done on purpose, in order to raise the rating and views of rhythmic gymnastics. By the way, I'll be glad to hear what you think about this whole story in the final with the ball and with the marks in the finals. Dina Virina won the bronze medal in the final with clubs. The fourth was Alina Garnaschko, followed by Chisaki Aiva, Sofia Rafaele, Alexandra Giorgio Kalesi, and Stiliana Nikolova. Well, the final with the ribbon was again won by Irina Virina. When such things happen, I get the feeling that the judges seem to apologize to Irina for keeping her grades in the first two apparatus. This is of course a joke, but a parallel can be drawn. Silver here was won by Dina Virina, and bronze from went to Alina Garnaschko. The fourth place was taken by Ekaterina 
Cristina Vitinieva, then Safira Faele and Linoy Schramm only in 6th place. She piled up pretty much, the mark in gymnastics slang. Not an insult or when I'm not talking about Russian communist woman, you can say so. You explain who likes to find fault with such an expression. Well, if a little more serious and about the races, then Linoy had many mistakes and even went out of the court. The seventh was Tatiana Volajanina and the eighth place was taken by Anastasia Salas. Today, by the way, there were new suits. I drew attention to the suit of Arina Vierin under the hoop and ribbon and write in the comments what do you like about them. I really like the suit under the ribbon, but it seems to me that I would have changed the ribbon itself. Maybe I just got tired of the red ribbons. Well, in the group today, too, quite unexpected results. So the Italian team won gold in both final days. Well, I congratulate the hostesses and I hope this has nothing to do. Although we are probably already used to the fact that at home championship, they're judged more loyally, despite the fact the judges from other countries are sitting in the judging. Maybe the judges are deliciously fat and this makes them kinder to the organizers. The Russian team won silver medals in two events as well. The Japanese took the bronze in the final with five balls and the Israeli team took the bronze in the mixed apparatus. But the Bulgarian team was not able to climb the podium at all today. Well, the next big start will be the European Championship, which will be held in Varna from June 9th to June 13th, as well as the Asian Championship from June 8th to June 10th, and the Pan American Championship from June 11th to June 13th. In generally, there are literally a few days left before the last tickets to the Olympic Games are played. At all these starts, tickets will be drawn for one individual and for one group at each championship. Well, for today, it's all. A huge thank you to everyone who traditionally spent all these three days with me. Thank you very much for your support. I love you a lot and I'll see you very soon in the next videos about European Championship. And for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinica.